What is up, you guys? It is April 6th, 2023, and we are over here next to the lake and on Stanfield Cutoff. We're gonna walk this wooden boardwalk over here on the other side of the lake. And uh, just real quick, I wanna introduce you guys quickly to uh, someone who's a fan of the channel, big fan of the channel. And I've seen him on TV a lot. He's a famous MMA announcer, you guys. And he even does the like, like, uh, let's get ready. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So his name's Carlos Kramer. Hope you guys enjoy and then we'll get to the walk. This is awesome. Hey, you guys, also, I have a surprise for you. He's He's become a really good friend and he's a famous MMA announcer. His name is Carlos. He's a super, super cool dude. Say hi, Carlos. Hey, everybody. Uh, Carlos Kramer here with you at Big Bear Weather and more. I tell you what, I count on Nick wherever I go in the world. I travel internationally as a cage announcer for MMA, and we have a place up here in Big Bear, so my family's up here all the time, so I depend on the weather up here, and who do I go to? My man, Nick. Big Bear Weather and more. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, guys, thank you guys very much. That is Carlos Kramer. Oh, my gosh. Carlos, thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> Keep up the great work, Nick. You are doing fantastic. All right, you all. I hope you enjoyed Carlos. Dude, how cool was that? All right, so there's the lake right there with the beautiful sun in the background. We are going to do a nice walk on this side of Stanfield Cutoff. And on our way back, it should be perfect for the sunset. So I'm really hoping you guys enjoy this. It's not gonna be the longest walk in the world. If I remember, they had like a like a plate over here that talks about what this is. Oh, here's here's something. Not that. Federally protected wetland. No boating or swimming allowed. No fun allowed. But look at this pavilion right here. Pretty awesome stuff. Guys can come over here and hang out and or sit on these benches and enjoy this big this ugly tree in the way. So take a look at this. I'm gonna move on in a couple seconds. You can pause the screen to read the rest of it. But yeah, there's the lake on that side. And here we go, here's the wooden boardwalk, let's do it. Here's Big Bear Boulevard over here to the right. Oh, this is so nice being out here, you guys. Believe it or not, guys, the water used to go all the way up to just below these, these boards here. Yeah, it's quite a view. Especially when they have water over here. It's really, really nice. It's not often we get water on this side. I want to take my Harley on here sometime. I know that would be such a bust. And by the way, regarding that video I did yesterday, so check it out. I guess the forestry service closed down most, most of these roads, but I have a friend who works with them and said that it'd probably be no problem if I kept that uh, video up, but he said what he's gonna do for us next week is he has all his permits with the forestry department and, and all the keys to all the gates, like 2N10, 3N09. So we're gonna go back there and he's going to be the one driving, which means that we'll be able to do videos that other people in Big Bear can't do legally. So, I'm looking forward to that. Look at this. This is really neat. Some people were like, 
but it's closed. What are you doing back there? And I'm like, I didn't know that it was closed. Be nice if they had like a gate or something like that. But we were just driving up an easement to get to those, those other roads. And we didn't make it to those other um, forestry roads. But as I said, next week or in a week and a half, we're going up with, with my friend. He's, uh, he's one of the biggest wood people in the Big Bear area. And he's always back there with his tractor and whatnot, hauling a bunch of wood back here. So he said, don't, don't worry about anything. You can ride with me and I have all my permits. So we're allowed to be back there. He said, no one else can. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. We're gonna go on the 2N10, you guys, if you, if you can believe it. That's the one that I wanted to go on. That is the most famous one. He said he'll take us on the 2N10. He said in, in, in some parts, there's still over four feet of snow on the road. So we shall see. Look at this massive tributary. <laughs> so I'm excited about that, you guys. We're literally gonna get to do something that no one else can do legally until June 30th. Remember, this is not Big Bear Lake. This is the marsh on the other side of Big Bear Lake. That usually doesn't have any water in it, but there's a good amount of water through here right now. And that neighborhood straight ahead, that is my favorite neighborhood in Big Bear. The street name is called Bear Loop, but I can't remember, I always forget the name of the neighborhood. Anyway, I hope you guys watched that video when we go to where people aren't supposed to go because those are the best videos, I think. We're not pushing any, any, any limits or anything like that. We're just getting to, uh, to legally go where no man has gone before. That's nice. It really is nice back here. All right, so the wood bridge is kaput, I think, at this point. But let's see, let's just keep on walking. Yeah, I think that's it. They have little benches in the middle of nowhere over here, so you can just sit down and relax. Another one over there behind those people. So we're just gonna walk a little further and then turn around, have a completely different perspective walking back. It's 52 degrees right now. It's about six o'clock, I would think. There's a cross the way, cross on the other side of Big Bear Boulevard. That snow's melting really quickly too. Do we want to go over here? No. Oh, here's another part of the wood bridge. There we go. We're going to take this to the end. more <clears throat> oh, it's so pretty you guys
lasers. Okay. Another little outlet for people to let others ride their bikes by. So we're gonna step over to the outlet. Get a nice view over here. Follow that bird for a second. Okay, at the end of this wood bridge, we're turning around because this is going to be it. But there's still quite a ways to go. I need to slow down. Slow it down, man. Slow it down. Driving like me. So, do you guys see all these white stains on? The pillars that's how high the water used to go now it's just way down there but and there's never usually water in here these days but the water used to be all the way up here basically up to the road wish my wife wasn't too tired or too cold because this is a beautiful walk I always forget what this marsh area is called. I don't know why I'm so dumb. How's it going? It's good. Doing well, thanks guys. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Oh, pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Look at this. I have never noticed this part of this walkway. That is in there. I'm afraid an alligator is going to pop out of that bad boy. So, guys, by the time we're done with this walk, I'll probably have remembered the name of this area. But if not, I'm going to have to look it up. Are you ready? <laughs> that was so awesome. He's a huge fan of the channel. Can't believe it. He calls me every time he comes up here just to talk. The guy is so cool. Carlos Kramer. Look him up, you guys, please. He's famous like, like Bruce Buffer and Michael Buffer. Kind of go off the beaten path here. We're not going to go past this sign. 
people are probably gonna leave me comments. Oh, you're not, what are you doing? You're not supposed to walk back there. Well, there's no sign saying I can't walk to right here. It's a mess with you. All right, let's see. Once again, guys, that neighborhood straight across the way, it's my favorite neighborhood in all of Big Bear. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you guys can tell, but those houses are just gorgeous. And right now, they're kind of not, oh, well, I guess they're lakefront property now. That looks like a pelican, but it's not. Is it? It's not a pelican, is it? No. I feel like an idiot, I'm sorry guys. Alright, so let's get back on the main trail here. Kind of sad to see some cars drove out here. I don't know why, why they would do that, but... And Bigfoot was here. Look at this. Yeah, Pigfoot was here for sure. All right, here's the fence. So we're not supposed to go beyond the fence, so we won't. Even though it's just one little fence. If any of you have any homes in that neighborhood over there, let me know. So we would gladly rent one for a few nights from y'all, whatever price you're charging. That would be a dream come true for me. We also, next week, are gonna be doing a video for one of you guys. He's letting my wife and I, I he wants us to stay in one of or in his vacation home and we're gonna do a video for him and another cool thing is that if we get a like i'm gonna think of a certain number of likes but he's gonna do a three night giveaway guys and his house is nice so we're gonna do a three night airbnb giveaway for you guys i'll know more about what needs to be done basically uh you guys are gonna hit the like button on that video and then sign up to the owner's Instagram. And then we're gonna be picking out the people from the comment section. So you, you gotta leave a comment. It doesn't matter what it is. Just leave a comment and sign in to his Instagram as a follower. And as I said, that could be worth three nights stay. And I'm pretty sure it's the Moonridge area. The guy's house is really nice. I've seen it before. We're going to be staying there for a couple nights as well, so I'm looking forward to that. I wish we didn't have all this traffic noise or me talking the whole time, but...
sad to say we left the hotel finally we stayed there in 20 days <laughs> guys as i said it probably cost us about seven or eight days what it would regularly cost a friend of mine as i said works there and we had no idea and they asked us they said would, would you want to stay stay longer if we offered you our my my family rate the same rate as if i stayed here and i said well what's the rate and when she told us i couldn't believe it it was less than motel six you guys so i had to jump on that offer because who knows when we're going to get offers like that ever again It's a good 15 feet drop, 12 foot drop, closer to 15. Hope you guys are digging the stash. I'm trying to get the Don Fry stash going. If you guys want to see a good mustache, look up one of my all-time favorite fighters. I think he fought, he fought for his first time in UFC 8 and then fought in the Ultimate Ultimate and a couple other heavyweight tournaments. Don the Predator Fry. Dude, you guys, that guy is such, such a man's man. That guy is the man. But he's got the best mustache. That mustache could kick my butt. No question. So guys, at the end of this video, we're gonna go across Sandfield Cutoff to check out Big Bear Lake. As I said, there's a few park benches over here. You guys can come sit down and just take in the sights. As a matter of fact, We'll do that right now for a second. We're not gonna sit down long, but just so you guys can get the perspective. This thing is high up, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah. Sitting on the bench. How you guys doing? Nice to see y'all. Are you ready? I asked him if, 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 if he could send me a clip with him just really quickly saying who he is and then what he does and then making that announcement so we can put that in all the videos. Shining the phone in the sunlight is not good for the phone. It's getting nippy. Temperatures dropped about five to ten degrees just on this walk.
And look, another park bench right here. How you doing, sir? Back of one of these walkways, oh yeah. As I said, once I get the okay from the forestry people about that video I did yesterday, we'll put it back up. And then as I said, we're gonna be doing a video that technically no one else can can do unless they have their there's they have their permits with the forestry forestry division. Once again, my friend Brian, he's uh he's like a very big wood hauler in the Big Bear area. So he's not only has his permits, but he has the keys to all these gates, you guys. So we're just gonna drive up to the gate, unlock it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record it all. It's gonna be awesome. guys for all the support, all the love. The most grateful person in the world for you guys right here. You guys have made life worth living. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for all the love and support always shown. I appreciate it a lot. Let's get back to the pretty part of the video, not me. Remember guys, this is not Big Bear Lake right here. This is the wildlife reserve. There's Big Bear Lake over there, right underneath the sun. Maybe they had some writing on here, somewhere inside here. Nope. It's really pretty. Beautiful Big Bear Lake. 
I'm gonna cross the street and get a moment of a lake view and then we're out of here. For this heavy duty trash can, awesome. And our bathrooms are right there. And once again, this is your park. All right, we're gonna cut off the video till we cross the street. Peace out, you guys. We're just going right there. Love y'all. We're across the street. It's great seeing water all the way up at these docks right here, you guys. It was way out past these docks this last season or last year, so it's a beautiful sight. break in the fence here. We're going to kind of go through here a little bit. Just kind of chill here for a moment. That's the end of Big Bear Lake right there to your right. talk for a minute or two so we can enjoy the lake. I'm gonna to to turn it off for a second and wait until the sun goes down a little bit more. We're just gonna sit right here, okay? All right, you guys. So we're gonna focus on this until the sun goes down. We're gonna walk to the very end of the lake, from one side to the other, and then walk back. Hopefully in that time period, we will have seen the beautiful sunset right over the mountain. I think I can be quiet for this. These cars sure won't be quiet.
I wish my wife was here with me. This is so pretty. No summit straight ahead. So we made it to the other side of the lake. Start walking back to the other side. We're gonna climb up in elevation a little bit just so we can get back up on this main part. On the main bridge here. 
Stand back up here. It's so pretty. side right now. So pretty. What's up, man? Hopefully we're getting the sunset. Yeah, boy.
the middle of the week. Just a few more minutes, you guys. Guys, when that sun goes down like it is now, the temperature falls drastically right away. I mean, right away. Once again, these docks are usually not here. I mean, they're always here, but there's usually no, no water. I'm so happy for these boat owners, you guys. This is great. Well, I appreciate you guys cruising with me today. Thank you for doing the sunset walk with me and doing that marsh across the way. I always forget the name of it, but I will figure it out. It's a wildlife preserve or reserve, <laughs> wildlife preserve. We got grape jelly wildlife preserve. We've got jam, like green jelly preserve. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a good time. If you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed Carlos Kramer, the world famous MMA announcer, fan of the channel. Awesome, he did his announcement for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Please, once again, like and subscribe, share this. Um, it would really help me out. We'll finish up in just a moment here. Hey, Pops. What a beautiful doggy. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. beautiful doggy. Hey. Sure. Alright you guys, I think this is going to be it. We'll do one more zoom in here. See what we got going on here. And also, you guys, don't forget, I'm imitated now by many, but no one can duplicate what I do. We're the original Big Bear Weather channel. Um, watch out for them imposters. Always come back to the OG. 
I'm always here for you guys, you know I am. Any questions you have, I'm always here to answer them. Any suggestions you have, I'm always here to try and follow up on those. So please, just have a great rest of your night, you guys. And until next time, thank you for enjoying. And we hope to see you again soon. Love you guys very much. It's April 6th, 2023. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.